Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Uchi Place Call of Cthulhu. When we last left off, we went around the port, got to know a little bit of the lay of the land, and talked to Captain Fitzroy. In this episode, we're going to go into Warehouse 36, hopefully, and uh, see what is up in there. Alright, so... Captain Fitzroy told us to come over here, and we're off. Alright, seems looks like a cre creepy alleyway. Hello, good sir. saw what happened with those sailors. I did Don't not. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Oh, okay. Uh, you're not scared of their boss? I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her? Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. Well, She's lovely. not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. Uh, what are this bootleggers doing around? Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, <laughs> but I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. All right, I and shall I'll take leave. my leave. Um, hmm. Well, into the right house we go. Uh, the spot hidden skill detects hidden close range. Da da skida. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Gotta find a way into this grate. Also, I don't. Right here. Uh, da 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 da. Come on. I learned nothing from Fitzroy's document, but I did get a confirmation on what I've been suspecting since Boston. The warehouse mentioned in the shipping label of Sarah Hawkins' painting belongs to Hawkins. On the, it's on the docks. I must find a way to get to it. Um. There's something right here. This part enables heavy loads to be lifted and held aloft without risk. This ratchet device seems to be usable. Nice. There's another hidden object somewhere. Hello, what's this? Hello? A whale vertebra. If the newspaper huh. clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Nice. Gets to look around for some shit. What kind of shit? I don't know. Hello, what's this? Move yourself. Gonna need that. A handle. It oh. must come from these old winches. Must be more shit to find. Um. I may or may not cut this out already. Starting off on a, with cuts. Ah ha ha! This cogwheel is... An old cogwheel. Nice, you got everything. Rusty, but in working order. Now. Ah! Cool. I... Wow, never mind. I... We got everything, and time to climb. Anything in that? No? Okay. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Yes, let's do. Uh, mount ratchet device, mount cogwheel, and mount the handle. Let's turn it. Looks like everything is in its place. I don't All think I I'm strong do enough. Is turn this handle. Come on, muscles. Heck yeah, we did it. Nice. Off we go into the depths of hell, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on now. From here on out, it's blind. It... <coughs> mm. Nope, let's get out. Huh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Tempted to go in there again. Let's go. <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I uh, hope it's not toxic. <coughs> yeah, I hope not either. Can we pick some shit up, please? Um, considering I'm not blown up to hell. Well, there's no spot hidden thing, so... Looks like we're just gonna have to grin and bear it. Hey, look, water. Huh. Wading through the water, this isn't safe. Gonna continue wading through this water. Hope nothing eats me. What the fuck? What the? F nope, 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 nope. Oh god. What the hell? Oh sh! What the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the actual hell? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we're not going to talk about that. Do we have a thing for my sanity? Do we have a sanity meter? Cool. Um, we're still stable. Good. Um, the submerged city. While investigating the Hawkins warehouse, Pierce entered a partially submerged tunnel that ran under the docks. There, something took hold of his arm and tried to drag him beneath the surface, drowning the detect. Drowning the detective got glances glimpses of human and animal bodies as well as the under un, as well as an underground city Pierce managed to make it back to the surface to discover that rather than ten yep no I've read that right tentacles it was seaweed that had wrapped itself around his arm the vision nevertheless disturbed him by its clear, clear yeah, clarity and violence Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. Anything new here? No? Good. Oh my god. Right then. Let's see what this is. This is primitive. Cool. Thanks for adding nothing to that. Let's uh climb. Where are we? I don't like where this is. Oh, uh, let's kill the fire. Climbing up. Crouching. Ugh, oh, this place stinks. Yeah, yeah, now it's time for fire. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Mm, nothing of interest. Time to, uh... Climb down. Oh, jump. Ooh. Huh. What happened here? Hmm. Who what has thing? enough money to buy painkillers, pain but stays in a place like this? Oh, that's it um, as bad as it looks. That's disgusting. More Can't pain sleep. Nope. I know how that feels. What is that? I don't know. Some sleepy drugs, I guess. 
Hello, that's Is terrifying this one as well. Of Sarah Hawkins paintings. We're not. No, I guess we're done in here. Hmm. And who character points? Sweet. We got four, so we can increase spot hidden. No, we can't. I lied. Uh, we could increase psychology, though. Uh, yeah, having that up is nice. Um, no. Oh, validate. Here we go. Clues. Uh, Hawkins Warehouse. Officially unused since Charles Hawk. Ah, Charles Hawkins' death. This warehouse recently housed a clandestine resident. Signs of life attest to the fact. The presence of bloodstained bandages must also be noted, probably removed from a wound, as well as pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as attested by the presence of several documents contained to the artist's life photograph press cutting uh, but it is but it but it is the discovery of a partial charred painting recognized by officer Bradley as having some having come from the Hawkins mansion that allows all doubt to be lifted as it as to the links between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case I have. I struggled through that sentence. Alright, so that's a door. But I don't want to go through the door yet. Ugh. Nasty. Right then. I think I, it's time to go through the door. What do y'all. What do you think? Oh, I guess I can't go through that. Will go through the thing well and nearly. Someone has settled in here, and whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You don't move. Hi, Detective Pierce. What's up? I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Did you? Uh, let's team up. I guess. Yeah, let's try that. It's clear that. that you knew the victims. I'm sorry to dig up bad memories. I can still see the poor child lying burned on the floor of their drawing room. We had to tear him off. The marks must still be there. They're in my mind anyway. It's horrendous. I'm going to need your experience to bring him justice, Officer Bradley. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange point. Oh, wow, it actually worked. Wait. I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. Very I'd interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Sweet. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? God damn it. Her again. Oh, hi, hon. This Can't case really has help nothing you. to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Please. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Oh, God. Why, you? Come on. Keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? Your turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. When have I gotten your name? Is it far, this mansion? Also, camera. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. There we go. You see the building? Yes. Holy crap. All the yeah, way up there. The Come on. We 
got some driving to do. Ow, that was loud. Chapter 3, Garden of the Hawkins Mansion. Pierce, yeah, Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation as well as a partly charred painting. Interpreted in his searching by Officer Bradley. Oh, interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley. Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Let's go back into madness, I guess. This officer was pretty cut up. Holy shit. Barbed wire? Oh, I see. I'm surprised he hasn't killed her yet, honestly. Oh, what's going on with this camera? Hmm. Fun. This place looks terrifying. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Um, no place very well. The place is falling to ruins. I thought the mansion burnt in a fire. Why is the caretaker? What caretaker? Oh, there's so many things. Um. I see no headed. scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion or do you have other questions? I have other questions. Uh, you know this place You're pretty the well. Woman who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Um... Why is the caretaker still here? He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Um... Anything I should be, be aware of? If there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Uh, right. If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Well, then let's not night waste any more time. Quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we. Dude, are. it's already night. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Having let's two go. heads is always nice. Having some backup uh, guns is also nice. Oh Lord, I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, having someone to reassure the caretaker so that he doesn't blow out my brains is also nice. Where are you taking me, my good sir? Um. Where are you taking me? 
Oh, probably to see Silas. Oh, no, those are the graves. I don't like that. Why'd you take me through the graves? Oh, oh, come on, give me that. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? Someone hates I Charles. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Oh, he is. Uh, I've seen Let's enough of this one. Well, I Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Right. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Right, right. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. And let's talk to... Or... Oh. Poor kid. Poor kid. What is that? 13 to 24? He's at, he was only 11. Poor kid. Poor kid. Okay, so there's nothing new info on that. And you got anything to talk about? No, that's just your gleam, gleaming belt. Right then. Hmm. Up to the manor, I guess. Ugh. This is just eerie, and I hate all of it. Game saved. <laughs> Lighthouse. Do I have nothing? Okay, good. Probably on the other side, though. Eh. I am going to check everything before I go in there. Alright. So nothing here. Um, this entrance is still in use. Fuck! Whoa. Jesus bloody hell. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick. Easy, sir. Alright. Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh. Uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. <sighs> I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Uh, uh, not the following place. Not the following place. Uh, 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 you haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic My accident. My heart's still pounding. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Get rid of me, what's important to you. Shouldn't really need this key. What key? Um Hawkins was important put to flowers you. on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. 
She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. It probably yeah. won't be the last. Take the key and do what you have to do. Oh, that's mean game. Go He's on, not man. terrible. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Holy bloody hell. Um now we'll keep going for another five minutes. No, what's down here? Where did I come from up here? On this one. No, that's me. I wanna go down here. At least uh that's probably where he lives. Okay. I'm not gonna tra traverse down there then. Hey, officer. P.S. Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can Fuck perhaps you. inspect the mansion. <laughs> You're right. Let's go. Uh, into the building we go. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Oh, Lord. Uh, Pearson and Officer Bradley explore the gardens of B. Hawkins' mansion. The family ties in the graveyard of this property, guarded by Silas Winchester. Uh, the old caretaker, still faithful to his employers, keeps watch on the place. Armed with his axe, the scary bastard, uh, Pierce and Bradley manage to calm him down and find... And Bradley, Bradley did shit. Managed to calm him down and finally get a hold of the key to the Hawkins mansion. They enter the building looking for scene of the fire. Me. I know the place. Mm, sure you do. Who left this light on? Oh, this is... Oh, right. Stuff! <laughs> I have 2CP that I'm not gonna touch yet. Uh, Officer Bradley. Police officer. This hick cop likes order and justice. He's no great sleuth, but he seems more inclined than his colleagues to discover the truth in the Hawkins case. The inhabitants of the island seem to be friendly with him. He could help me in this in my investigation. Thankfully he is. Uh Sias Winchester, caretaker of Hawkins property, the old caretaker of the Hawkins family. Sias Winchester still watches over the family graveyard and the burnt out mansion. Devoted to Charles Hawkins, whom he's all but raised, he also has he also has great respect for the memory of Sarah Hawkins and their child, Simon. His long months of solitude on the abandoned property have made him very distrustful. Sias still puts flowers on the graves of Charles, Sarah, and Simon. Uh, places Hawkins Mansion Gardens. The Hawkins Mansion is perched at the top of a steep cliff. The abandoned garden harbors graves of the Hawkins family, and only the old caretaker, Sias Winchester, still roams this bleak spot. He protects, it fierce he protects it fiercely and still puts flowers on the graves of his old masters. It's a gloomy place. Yeah. Uh. Nice key. I, I thought the thing would pop up as well, but it did not. I forgot. I've got hold of the key that opens the door to the tradesman entrance of the Hawkins Mansion. I hope that it's worth the risk. Mm -hmm, I hope so too. Ain't nothing in there. We are actually going to call it a day. Or an episode. So, we'll pause this again. So, join me next time. Join us next time as we traverse the uh, manor. So... We'll see you guys next time as Uchi plays Call of Cthulhu. See you guys next time.